Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we can see ABCD is a quadrilateral and all the vertices are on the circle. So it becomes a cyclic quadrilateral. AD is parallel to BC. So line AD is parallel to line BC. The diagonals DB and AC meet at point X and angle ACB is 62 degrees and angle ACD is 20 degrees. We have to calculate the first angle which is angle DBA. So the angle is over here DBA. This is what we need to find out. Now to find this angle let us use a circle theorem which is angles in the same segment. You can see that I have drawn a circle and there are two points A and B. Now the points A and B divide the circle into two segments. Now this small segment is called as a minor segment and the other larger part of the circle is called as a major segment. If I use these two points A and B and I start drawing an angle in the major segment so this becomes one angle at this point. Let me draw another angle in the major segment and I can draw n number of angles in this segment. Now according to the theorem angles in the same segment it states that angles in the same segment are equal. Now all these angles are in the same major segment. For example I get angle at this point as 40 degrees then rest of the angles in the major segment are also going to be 40 degrees. So angles in the same segment are equal. Now let us try to use this theorem to solve the given example. Now since we were supposed to find the angle DBA let us consider the two points D and A. Now the two points D and A divide the circle into two segments. That is this is a minor segment and the rest of the major part is the major segment. Now if we use these two points let us see what angles they make in the major segment. One angle is made at point C and the same two points make an angle at point P. So using the theorem that is angles in the same segment since here the angle is 20 in the major segment then angle B also becomes 20 degrees. So we get angle DBA as 20 degrees using the angles in the same segment theorem. Now let us look at the part B of this question. Calculate the angle DAB. So we have the angle DAB over here that is DAB this entire angle. Now to find this angle let us use another circle theorem given as cyclic quadrilateral theorem which states that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and there is a quadrilateral ABCD inside it. So according to the theorem the opposite angles that is for example in this case angle A and angle C are opposite to each other. So when we add the angle A with angle C we should get 180 degrees. The same holds true for angle B plus angle D which are opposite to each other. So we can write it as angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. So let us use this theorem to solve the part B of this question. Now we can see that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and angle A is opposite to angle C that is the entire angle in this case. So using the theorem of cyclic quadrilaterals we can write it as angle A plus angle C should add to give us 180 degrees. So angle A is the one which we need to find plus angle C is made up of two angles that is 20 and 62. So 20 plus 62 
is equal to 180 degrees or we can write angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 20 degrees and minus 62. So that is going to give us an angle of 98 degrees. So we have got angle DAB as 98. So let us write it over here. 98 degrees using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Now let us look at the part C of this question. Find angle DAC. So let us look at the angle DAC over here. So they are asking us to find this angle DAC. This is the angle we need to find out. Now in the question they had mentioned that line AD is parallel to line BC. So let me just join the two lines that is line AD with line BC. As you can see AC is acting as a transversal line and it is cutting the two parallel lines at point A and point C. So using the properties of the parallel lines we can say that angle A is going to be 62 degrees which is same as angle C because of the alternating angles or also called as Z angles. So we have the angle DAC given as 62 degrees that is using the properties of parallel lines that is alternating angles. Now let us look at the part D of this question. Find angle AXB. So let us try to find out the angle AXB which is over here that is AXB. This is the angle we need to find out. Now in the previous parts of this question we had found out that the angle DAB this big angle was 98 degrees and angle DAC was 62 degrees. So we can find this small part of angle A by subtracting the 62 from 98 degrees. So we get it as 36 degrees. And in the part A of this question we had found out the angle B which was 20 degrees. So now we can consider the triangle AXP to find out the angle X and use the angle sum property of the triangle which is when we add all the angles together that is angle A plus angle X plus angle B it all adds up to 180 degrees. So angle A we have as 36 degrees and angle X is the one which we need to find out plus angle B is 20. So we get the angle X as 180 degrees minus 20 and minus 36 degrees. So let us see how much we get. It is 124 degrees. So we get the part D of this question as 124 degrees. Now let us look at the final part of this question. Find angle CDB. So the angle CDB is over here that is this angle CDB this is the one which we need to find out now to find this angle again we are going to use the circle theorem that is angles in the same segment now let us consider the two points B and C they divide the circle into two segments that is one is the minor segment and the other one is the major segment now let us see the angles made by these two points now BC makes the angle at point D and the same two points make an angle at point A. And in the previous part that is part D of this question we had found out that this part of the angle was 36 that is it was got by subtracting 62 degrees from 98. Since now this angle made is 36 now this angle D is also going to be 36 degrees because of the circle theorem angles in the same segment are equal. So we write the angle CDB over here as 36 degrees. 
I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you are liking the videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.